right, this is Dave with Wags Automotive, and we're back in North Carolina today. We're working on my cousin, my nephew, Nick. His, uh, what is this, 2001? Yeah. 2001 Toyota MR2 that we put the Honda engine in. And today we're working on the underside of it. We've got some braces going in. So first of all, we'll show you this, this center brace that he's got in here. He's actually got two. So he's got this brace here that's a center brace. And where'd you get this from, Nick? Some random guy in, like, Michigan. He doesn't even sell them anymore. Okay, so we got this from a guy in Michigan. They said he doesn't sell them anymore. So I guess if you like that brace, which bolts here, here, there, there, and there, and there, it's kind of an X brace. Let me back up so you guys can see it. So if you like that brace, I guess you have to make your own, which, I mean, it's just flat steel. You can make your own if you wanted that brace. And then we've got this larger red brace. Let me back up so you can see that. And that was, that was uh, sent over here from... Overseas, where, where we're at? The UK. Uh, Over in the UK, and the guy's name is, there's Barbarian a website? Barbarian Racing. Barbarian Racing. And I'll put a link to this on the uh, on the video here so you guys can see it. Uh, this is, a, again, another floor brace. It's a lot bigger one. You probably, if you got the one from Barbarian, you wouldn't need the other one. Yeah, a lot of guys don't even use this. So um, the Barbarian one would probably be good enough for you. It's, it's aluminum. The only problem we had with it was... Uh, the, set, the, the holes here, um, they did not line up with the bolt holes in the body, so we had to slot the holes. We had to, what we did is we, we uh, mounted it on the front or the back and the front mounts up there and got them lined up. And then we knew where the holes were, needed to be here, so we marked them and then we drilled them and slotted them so, they, so, the, so the, these two center bolts would fit. So if you buy this thing from Barbarian Bracing, you may have, Barbarian Racing, you may have to modify these center holes to fit, but um, if the Barbarian guy, if you watch this video, um, you might want to slot these center holes. That way uh, the, the bolts will line up easier. So if you slotted those, that'd be great. If they're not slotted, you'll have to slot them yourself. Maybe. I mean, every car is different. You know, you just never know. Okay, now the next thing we're going to go to is we got this, this brace here on the floor. And this brace here, we got some rain going on, so we got thunder in the background. This brace here also came from from the uk and you, you know the guy that made it it's boris his name is boris and we'll get a link he's got an instagram channel um or a, a feed on instagram so we'll try to get that link and post it in here too but this brace here is designed to go on the mr2 with the mr2 engine in it with the toilet engine in it so nick's got a honda engine in it so nick you want to hold that brace up there and we'll kind of get an idea of what's going on here so here's the problem guys the problem is with this brace here, you've got the header is in the way. See, as you can see, the mount, the mount, this mount here will go in place. This one here is way off. And then it's because the header hits. And then back here, you've got a mount here that's supposed to go on that bolt up there. But as you can see, that mount is like quite a ways. Here, let me get a light on this and kind of show it to you guys better. Hold on. All right, let me get a light. There we go. Okay, now hopefully you guys can see this. All right, there you see, see the bolt up there. That's where that that's where that's supposed to fit, and it's so it's too short. So we're gonna have to make some major modifications to this thing to fit. So here's what here's what's going on, guys. This guy does not have one of these Toyotas over here in the UK where he makes these braces. So he has sent this brace to Nick, and they've asked me to make the prototype of this brace because there's a lot of guys on the uh, MK2 channel that, M or A24K, what is it? The engine, what is the engine? Uh, K24. K24, there's got a lot of guys on the K24 or the K20, or K20 uh, websites or, or on the internet, on Facebook stuff that want this brace to fit in an MR2 that has the K24 engine in it. So, but this guy does not have one of these MR2s over there in the UK, so he don't know how to make the brace. So he sent this brace to Nick, my cousin, my nephew. I keep saying my cousin, he's my nephew. He sent this brace to my, my nephew, Nick, and he has asked me to modify this brace to make it fit this car, and then we're gonna send it back to him as a prototype, and he's gonna make start producing this, this brace to fit the MR2 with the K24 engine in it. So the first thing we had to do is hold that brace up right there, Nick. We're in kind of no, no, this one. Yep. 
So this brace here goes up. Show them where, show them where it goes, Nick. It goes on the on the 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 lower link mount on the bolt there. It goes there, and then it goes up and mounts to the bottom of the main brace. But the problem here is the problem here is this this brace. As you can see, it's right up against the belt and the pulley, so it's in the way. So what I've done, the first thing I've done to modify it is, and this is the brace for the other side because I wanted to make them both the same. So I've cut it at an angle. Hold the hold the other one right up next to this one, Nick. Hold the other brace up next to this one. Oh, hold on. Stupid. All right, there we go. So now you can see what I've done. You see how much I've modified that. I've cut it at an angle, and now this brace will fit right in there where it needs to be, and you can get a, a socket in there to tighten up the bolt because you got to pull. You got to pull this mounting bolt that goes all the way through this lower control arm. You got to pull that mounting bolt completely out and slide it through this hole in the brace, and it goes in there. And then the brace bolts directly to directly to the body and through the the lower control arm. So we had to modify that. So we're going to modify both sides. But I wanted to show you the the difference between the old version and the new version. So that's that's the modifications I've done to that. I got to modify that one, but I wanted to get a video of it first before I modify it. So this is the first modification we've got to do. So let me finish doing this and then we'll come back to this video. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you these braces. So I got both of them modified. Now you can see they're pretty much identical. Um, I kept quite a bit off of them, but we're gonna send those back to the UK and the guy can uh, modify his design so they fit the MR2s with the Honda engine in them. Next thing we're gonna do here, we're looking at the back part of this brace. So if you look, I got, I got it sitting on the bolt here. It goes, again, it goes through these through bolts for the lower control arms and bolts to the front side of them. So I got this one in place. This one here, it won't quite reach. And to start out with where we're hitting, we're hitting on the transmission. There's a little ear right here on the transmission. I'm gonna show that to you guys before we cut it off. So we're gonna cut this ear off and do a little grinding. We may have to notch the pipe here, but we're gonna start with cutting this ear off because that ear's not really anything that's used anyhow, so we're going to take a die grinder, we're going to cut that off, and then we're going to see how the brace fits from there. So we'll do that, and then we'll come back, all right? Okay, guys, let me show you what we got. So as you can see, right here, I've notched, I've taken that little piece of metal out from the transmission. That's giving me a notch. Now, if you look up right here, you can see that this bracket is still hitting the transmission, but we, we aren't in place. If you look where the bolt goes on the lower control arm here, when I take this nut off and I slide this piece in against the, against the control arm mount, we're gonna gain about three quarters of an inch. And this, where it's touching here, will move back three quarters of an inch, and then we'll have the clearance we need there. So, so taking that little chunk of aluminum out there helped a lot. Now, when we go up here, we're, we're as you can see on this side, we're really close to that bolt, but we're not quite there yet. We gotta go a little higher up, and now we're hitting right here on the header. So what I've, what I've decided I'm gonna do here is you've got this, let me get back up here so I can see this. You've got this, this X bracer going across. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna notch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this brace right across here and right across there. And I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna move it in to right in here. So it's out of the way of the header and we're gonna re-weld it back in there. So we're gonna cut that out and then we'll, we'll I'll, Put the brace up there without this piece in and we'll see how it fits and then we'll figure out where we're going to put the put the piece that i cut out in here somewhere all right let's do that and then we'll see where we are from there all right guys i've been working on this thing for probably an hour and a half or longer making this modif second modification so we'll go up under here and as you can see we're on the bolt here on this side and we're on the bolt here on this side it doesn't want to push in but that's because this bolt needs to be out and then it'll go in and line up. But we've got a good clearance here on the transmission and when we move it back, we'll have any more clearance. Here's where we're hitting the header. You can see that. They've got, I've got enough room to stick my finger in between there now. And what I did is I basically just smashed the tube flat on both sides and then ground it smooth and I will weld a seam right along there. And this side here, I'll weld a seam along there and then I'll grind it smooth and flat. And then I got this piece here that I cut out. So it went in right there and I'll put it over to one side you can see how much I probably cut about an inch and a half off of it but what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to put it 
right there, just like that, and line it up. There. Line it up. Well, it fits one way or the other. I don't know which way it fits. There we go. So I'm going to put it like that. Let me back up here so you can see. So it's going to be like that. So the brace is still going to be there. It's just moved in. And now you can see i got a ton of space between the brace and the header. We're not going to lose our integrity of the brace. Um, you know, if, if Boris wanted to, he could probably run a piece of steel from here down to that, like an L-shaped piece of steel, and weld it in place to strengthen it a little more. But, I mean, again, this is just a prototype, guys. This isn't the final product. I'm just making this so it works on this engine. And then I want to send it back to Boris, and he's going to do his thing to it. So, But that's what it looks like on the back of the engine. So now we've got the back to fit. But as you can see up here in the front, we're a mile away from them, them braces or them uh, mounts up there. So we're going to have to, we're going to, have to lengthen, lengthen these tubes quite a bit in order to get that to fit. So we're going we're gonna to have to cut these tubes completely off and lengthen them so they'll go up in here to this bolt where they're supposed to be and re-weld them. So we'll cut these off. We'll have to get some more steel. Uh, tomorrow's Sunday, so we probably won't be able to do it tomorrow. We'll have to do it Monday. Go get some steel tubing and lengthen these out, and then, then this will work. It's going to hang a little low if I back up here under the car. Can you, can you push that up any higher, Nick, or is that as high as it goes? It's hitting the pan right here. It's hitting the pan. Okay. Oh, that's fine. All right, so know. it's hitting the pan. Okay, so it's hitting the pan right there. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I think we'll probably have to modify that then to make that work. So, um, we move this brace over slightly. Well, so what I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut this brace out and I'm gonna do the same thing I did here. I'm gonna shorten it and move it in so it, so it misses the pan. So I gotta, now I gotta cut that brace out. So that's, that's gonna be a fun job too. But I think, what time is it guys? 5.30. 5.30, what time are we eating? Okay, so I think we're gonna quit for tonight. We've been at this all day long, it's hot, and it rained today, it's really humid. But I think we're gonna quit for tonight. So that's what we got done so far. Um, but we'll work on this, this brace here tomorrow and get it moved for the oil pan. And then we'll uh, be able to put it further up. And uh, then we'll be able to work on the front mount. So we'll, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, we're back here on the MR2. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't have the microphone plugged in. All right, guys, we're back here on the MR2 again today. And we're still working on this uh, lower engine brace. So what I've done is I've removed, you can see where I've removed this section of pipe right here, or tubing, um, to clear the oil pan. So now we can put this thing up. When we put it up, of course, we got more problems. One thing we did is we went ahead and took the nuts off of the control arms because these t these tubes slide over the nuts and you screw the nuts in from the inside. So we took them off so we could actually mount it in place because we were hitting right here on the transmission. And now that we took the nuts off up here, we're able to slide it back to where it belongs. And if you raise it up, you can see you've got tons of clearance where that tab was. So I'm not, that tab's not in my way anymore. I mean, I, st I still needed to remove it but it's not in my way anymore. So now the problem we're faced is we're getting closer to where the mounting bolts go, but we're still a good two inches away from them. I'm, I'm trying to get this thing as high as I can get it so it doesn't drag on anything and we're the same there. So now that we've got this piece out, we're clearing the oil pan and I'm gonna move that piece over here so it clears the oil pan. But then now we're hitting the transmission right here. And then once once we get this problem addressed, we're going to hit it here on this tab. So we've got two choices. We can either cut these tabs off or we can, again, move bars. Um, and I really don't like cutting these off because they, they serve a function. There's a uh, dust cover that goes here. And anybody who's got one of these cars, if they want to put the dust cover on and they have to cut these tabs off to make this thing work, they're probably not going to want to do that. This tab over here was, was just a casting tab that was not used for anything. These are actually used for the dust cover, so we need to keep those in place. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this bar right across here and remove this bar and get it out of the way. And it's a good thing that I did, I did, I found this because 
I've got this piece here that you know we already cut out that was back on the back here we got to move it up well if I'm gonna move this bar to this area right in here then this piece here is probably going to be shortened so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bar off and then we're gonna see how close we can get this one here I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet I may I may just dimple the tube I may notch it I really don't want to cut it because it's all one piece all the way across this is the one tube that's all the way across so I want to try to leave that tube but I may I may dimple it or something this 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 thing isn't very big I could cut this tab off I mean it's, it's one tab it's not gonna hurt anything to cut that one tab off um, but I think I can I might be able to dimple the tube with a hammer and uh, get it to go up and, and we're just trying to get this as high as we can I'm, I, don't, I don't think I don't think we're ever gonna get it all the way up to where it needs to be but I want to get it as close as I can I'd like to get this if you can see how here let me get over here so you can see see the difference in height between between here and there I want to try to get this bar as close to the bottom of the gas tank as I can because I don't really want it to hang below the gas tank so I want to get as high as I can I, I just want to do this right so when the guy starts making them then uh, he can he can uh, he knows what to do to make them make them the right way but anyhow uh, so we're gonna keep working on this and we'll see what happens with it and but I want to show you this before I cut this bar off so that's the next step is cut this bar this this uh, brace is down to this piece here the long piece and the mounting point over there that bolts to the lower control arm so we're we're cutting it apart pretty good but i think once we get it welded back together it's gonna it's gonna fit well it's gonna look nice so let's uh let's cut this bar off and then we'll go from there all right hold on guys okay guys we're back again got some made some major uh, major difference here so let me show you what we got going on so i cut the bar off that goes from here to there and now the only the only bar we got left is the main bar going across but look at this i was able to get this bolt to mount on this side this one here is still a ways away but it's it's closer not too bad we're we're now we're about an inch and a half away so now we're hitting right here on the transmission so i've got three choices i can make one is i can take a hammer and dimple this and try to get it to clear but i don't think i'm going to get an inch and a half of clearance out of that second choice would be i could cut across the bottom of the bar don't cut all the way through just cut across the bottom and bend this end up and make it fit but then i'd have a gap here so what i'm thinking actually i've got four choices another choice would be is i could heat this thing up this long bar up with the torch and try to bend this end of it up and get it up there but another choice that I just thought of would be if I if I put it in a press and I mark it right here where this tab is touching it right there and I put it in a press and I press it down it's going to do two things it's going to collapse this tube which is going to give me some clearance but it's also going to put a slight bend in the whole thing which is going to get me where I need to go up here and as you can see when he when he bends the tubes in his bender when Boris does it it collapses them anyhow so what Boris is gonna have to do he's gonna have to figure out the difference between both ends of this bar and the middle is cut gonna come down so he's got to figure out the height difference between the flat bar and where it is where I'm gonna put it at and then he's got to put a slight bend in the new tube just put a slight bend in it to clear the the transmission uh, bell housing so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in a press to start with and I'm gonna try to press it and push this down and collapse it but also put a bend in it at the same time and see if i can get enough of a bend where we can get this bolt to fit so that's that's good news there but now we got another problem so now we've got where this rod bolts to the lower control arm on the on the passenger side you can see when it's bolted when we took the, the nut out up there see the nuts out so now we put this in place well now when we try to line these up you're that far off and you're hitting you're hitting the, the engine pulley so now we got to figure out what we're going to do with that um, and again what I could do is I could put a bend in this bar with a press and try to get it to bend enough to clear um, that pulley or what I could do is move this out to here and then that lines up and I have to I would have to uh, weld a tab on to this side so it would it would bolt onto the uh, lower control arm so I need to look at that some more and figure that out 
Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. We're, I'm, I'm more focused on this one right now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one off and we're going to put it in the press and we're going to bend it right here where it touches and try to get a little bit of a, of a bend in it and try to collapse the tube at the same time. And then we'll see where we go from there. I think, I think that might be enough to get us the clearance we need over here to get this up there. Hopefully it will. If not, then we can always space this one out a little bit and drop drop both of them down because i mean you can see on this side there's plenty of clearance here between the bottom of the gas tank and the bottom of the of the brace now the engine brace so um if i have to i can drop this side down a little bit to get this side to go up so we'll see what we'll see how it works let me get let me get this thing apart and uh we'll put it in the press and put a bend in and see what happens all right we'll get back with you all right guys i decided to go ahead and video this portion of the of the modification here so as you can see we've got this thing set up in this high-tech 12-ton press from harbor fart um and uh so we're gonna see if this works i'm gonna have uh my nephew nick run the bottle jack there and we're gonna slowly crank on this thing and we're probably gonna have to crank on it release it a few times because what's going to happen is it's going to go down and then when you release it's going to spring back it's going to want to spring back so we're going to have to keep doing that until we get the, the bend we want in it hopefully it'll work the way it is um i've got a mark right here as you can see i marked it with a sharpie right where uh the tab the transmission tab was and i've got my my ram set right on top of that and basically centered over the pipe so basically what we're gonna do we're just going to push down on it and see if it bends all right nick go ahead and start push running that jack and we'll watch it and see what happens here you can see it's bending yep okay keep going keep going keep going keep going a little bit more all right stop okay go ahead and release it that's a pretty good bend right there whoops came apart that's a pretty good bend right there. You want to go a little bit at a time when you do this. You don't want to go too much. It's better to go not enough than to go too much. So we'll. So as you can see now, it's got a it's got a bend in it. Um, so we're going to take it out and we're going to look at it and see how it fits. All right, let's go ahead and take it out there. Might have to release the jack a little more. Get oh, now you got it. All right, that's that's fine. All right, let's take it out and see. Where'd you cut it? No, I bent it. Looks like the metal's cracked. I don't think so. Oh, no, I think it's just scratched. <laughs> oh, great. Bear's laying on the floor, rolling in the dirt. All right, let's see how she fits. This goes here. Oh, it goes this way. Just like that. Holy simoleons. Holy simoleons. Let's take this bolt out. Let's take this bolt out right here, Nick. I think we got it the first time, guys. I think it's going to work. That one right there, that socket and extension, is the correct one. I think we got it. That holds the gas tank in, too? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. Really? <laughs> yeah, because I just put it in. There's two up here. All right, put the, slide that. Oh, Nick, he's got it. Go ahead. And, you got to put the bolt in, John, on the, on the back, on the back, back here. You got to put it on the bolt first. All right, now stick your bolt in there. You have your gas tank back up in place. And we're we're not lined up back here anymore. All right, can you get the nut on that now? Should be up to home.
clamp. Just put the nut on. If you if you can, if you got threads in there, yes. yeah, you can get. You should be able to get the nut started. Once you get the nut started, it should pull in. Come on, dude. You guys deal with it. Stop being snitches. You're okay if you have a water balloon bite, aren't you? Say it. You're okay if you have a water balloon bite, aren't you? Yeah. I'm gonna throw a water balloon, but Ben's doing it. Trying to get this bolt started too. I want to get all the everything bolted in place before we say it's good. It looks really close. I think we're going to be able to get it to go, get it started. 